So today we'll be looking at Google Plexes and Quantum Twins. So I'll start off by explaining what is a Google Plex. To explain that, first we need to look at a Google, which is the number 10 to the power of 100. So that's 10 billion 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 or one with a hundred zeros after it. So it's a really large number and to put that into comparison it's approximated that there's about 10 to the 78 to 10 to the 82 particles in the observable universe. Now a Google Plex is the number 10 to the power of a Google or 10 to the 10 to the 100. So if you try to write this number in our universe on every single particle you will run out of particles because it's such a massive number now here's the interesting part from quantum mechanics we know that every particle has an associated quantum wave which describes the probability for what could exist at a specific point in space-time if we now look at the number of possibilities or quantum states that can occupy a space of one meter cubed which is approximately the volume of a person we find that to be about 10 to the 10 to the 70. This number describes the number of different configurations that can exist within a one meter cubed piece of volume. So it could be empty, it could be arranged in this amount of different ways. And one of these is the way you are arranged. So if we existed in a universe that was a Google Plex meter to cross, and we traveled from our point of origin to a distance greater than 10 to the 10 to the 70. Um, we would have exceeded the probability density of all possibilities within that section of the universe. So what happens as a result is that you'll begin to see repetitions and eventually you will see a one meter cubed volume of space that is configured exactly as you. And that will be your quantum twin, which only exists by you exceeding all possibilities within that section of space. So I hope you found that interesting. Please like and subscribe. Check out these other two videos here. And thank you for watching. Bye.